In my previous video, I have explained about savings account, current account, and fixed deposit account, as well as how to calculate simple interest and compound interest. So have you watched it yet? If not, I suggest that you watch that video first, and then you come back to this video. In this video, I will teach you more examples on how to calculate compound interest, and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. Before we attempt the questions on compound interest, let's look at the formula first. So this is the formula to calculate compound interest mv equals to p bracket 1 plus r over n whole thing power nt so mv stands for matured value p stands for principal r stands for yearly interest rate n stands for number of periods the interest is compounded per year t stands for term in years so the meanings of interest compounded if it's every year or annually the n is 1 if it's every 6 months or half yearly n is 2 if it's every 3 months or quarterly n is 4 if it's every month or monthly, n is 12. So now let's look at the first question. For question number one, Mr. Siva invested 3,000 ringgit in a fixed deposit in a bank at a rate of 8% of compounded interest annually. How much is the amount to be received after three years? Round off your answer to two decimal places. So first, I'm going to get the information from the, from the question and then I'm going to move it here. So now I need to find what is my P, R, N and T. Okay, so get all these values from the question and then we sub into the formula. So P is 3000 ringgit. So I'm going to write here 3000. Okay, and then R, R is the rate which is 8%. So 8% is 0.08. And then N, so N is annually. So compounded interest annually. Annually means N is 1. Okay, and T, T is after 3 years. So T is 3. Okay, so we have all this information. We're going to substitute into the formula of compound interest, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N whole thing power NT. So principal is 3000. So 3000, then bracket 1 plus R is 0 0.08, and then N is 1, and then NT. So NT, 1 times 3, so 1, 3. Okay, so it's equals. So we press the calculator, so we we'll get RM 3779.14. So that's the answer. For question number two, Mr. Chan deposited 1,000 ringgit into his savings account that gives an interest rate of 5% per annum and compounded once every half year. How much is Mr. Chan's savings at the end of the third year? So first, I'm going to take out the information, which is P, R, N, and T. Okay, so the P, which is the principal, is 1,000 ringgit. R is the interest rate, which is 5%, which means it's 0.05. So N is compounded once every half year. So every half year means like for example, January to June is one time. And then July to December is another time. So it's compounded two times in the year. So therefore N is two. Okay, so T here, we can get from here N of the third year, which means T is three. So now we can substitute all these values into the compound interest formula, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N, whole thing to the power of NT. So P is 1000, 1 plus R is 0 0.05, N is 2, and T is 2 times 3, so 2, 3. Okay, and then you calculate with the calculator. So the answer is RM 1159 and 70 cents. So this is the answer. Question number 
2023, Ms Lim deposited 500 ringgit into her savings account that gives an interest rate of 4% per annum and compounded quarterly. How much is Ms Lim's savings at the end of the fifth year? So, first of all, we got to find what are the P, R, N, and T values. So, from the question, the P is 500 ringgit, so it's 500. The R, which is the interest, is 4%, which is 0.04. And then the N, so compounded quarterly. If it's compounded quarterly, it means it's compounded four times in a year, so therefore N is 4. And then T, you see here, at the end of the fifth year, which means that T is 5. Okay, so now we're going to substitute into the compound interest formula, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N, whole thing to the power of NT. So P is 500, 1 plus interest is 0 0.04 over the N is 4, to the power of 4 times 5. So equals, so we use the calculator to calculate this and we'll get RM 610 and 10 cents. So that's the answer. For question number 4, Mr. Joe deposited 100 ringgit into his savings account that gives an interest of 3% per annum and compounded monthly. How much is Mr. Joe's savings at the end of the second year? Okay, so first you have to find what are the values of P, R, N and T. So principal is 100 ringgit, so it's 100 ringgit. R is 0 0.03, which is 3%, 0 0.03. Okay, so N, you see here, compounded monthly. Compounded monthly means in one year, it's compounded 12 times, because there are 12 months in a year. Okay, so T is second year, so T is 2. So now we can substitute all these values into the formula, which is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N to the power of NT. Okay? So P is 100, 1 plus R is 0 0.03, N is 12, and NT is 12 and 2, so 12 times 2. Okay? So use the calculator to calculate this, and you will get 106 ringgit and 18 cents. So that's the answer. Well, that's all for now. Are you already a pro in calculating compound interest? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!